Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerpicks.com and here's a quick video on how to download C Cleaner for Windows 10. Free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser of your choosing. I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge and once I have it open, I'm going out to Google and once there, I'm going to type in C Cleaner and once you do, you'll get some links down below and the one that you want to go ahead and click on is C Cleaner dash free download or try C Cleaner Professional. And once you click on that, that takes you to this URL address right here, which is prairieform.com. And once here, this is the download page that you can download from Prairieform. And you get three columns, free, professional, and professional plus. The one that we're going to focus on today is the free one here. So go ahead and scroll down and click on the download button. Once you do, that will begin the download process on your internet browser that you have open. And you will receive this page that says thank you for downloading C Cleaner. And in Microsoft Edge, I get this prompt down below. And it says basically, what do I want to do with the... C, C setup version 528.exe and I get three choices over here save save as or cancel and I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and once I do that begins the download and it doesn't really take too long but it depends on the speed of your internet as well as the speed and performance of your computer and then it goes ahead and in my case it says running security scan once that's completed it tells me that the download has completed and is finished so I can go ahead and click on run now and that will initiate the unpacking of the file the setup file that is that was just downloaded and I can minimize or close out the internet browser at this point it doesn't need to be open and once the unpacking is completed, we get the first window of the installation for CCleaner. And we can either click on Install or Customize. I'm going to click on Customize to show you that you can um, leave all these checked by default or uncheck them um, depending on, you know, basically how you want the installation to go. I'm going to leave them all checked and click on Install. Once I do that, it goes ahead and begins the extraction and the installation of the uh, C cleaner on my computer. And I just want to point out this desktop icon here. That's a desktop icon from a previous version of C cleaner that I had already had installed on my computer. Um, but the point I would like to make is that once the C cleaner is completed on its installation, um, it will place a desktop icon um, on your Windows 10 desktop for you. So you can easily um, run CCleaner at any time. Okay, once it's completed, um, you get this message that says uh, the setup has completed. And you get a choice here. You can either run CCleaner um, at this time or you can go ahead and close this window out. Um, I'm going to choose to go ahead and click on run and uh, once I do it opens up uh, this page on uh, my internet browser opens up my internet browser and presents this page to me it says thank you for installing and I'm going to go ahead and close that out okay um, it did open up um, C cleaner and you get uh, quite a lot of tools or utilities that you can um, make use of and the first one here is C cleaner which basically cleans your computer of all types of stuff that's on your computer that you don't need um, that's using up a lot of your disk space and you can scroll up and down here and see all the items that are checked um, on both of these columns um, the um, windows and the applications that it's going to clean and you can click on analyze here or click on run C cleaner okay um, it doesn't take too long to complete 
and it depends on the speed of uh, you know your computer system as well as how many files that are junk and temporary that it needs to scan through and delete and once it's completed it does give you a summary and at this point we can go ahead and close this out and that's the end of this video and before leaving be sure to subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.